Greetings, my most wonderful art students. Today, I am going to walk you through creating a drawing of a snowman, but one that specifically looks three-dimensional. Now, we are using three vocabulary terms here to create our snowman to make them look three-dimensional. Number one is something called perspective. Number two, shadows. And number three, highlights. Okay, people, after you get your name on your paper, I'm going to show you how to clean off your oil pastel just in case you get one that has some other colors on it. Just like this, you take your pastel and draw it onto your paper towel. Now, this paper towel is going to come in handy because your white pastel is probably going to get dirty again, so keep it nearby. So to make your snowman look three-dimensional, we need to draw it from a bird's eye perspective. Perspective is the way or the viewpoint that you look at something. So to do so, you need to start out with one circle for the first snowball. The next circle is not going to be finished. It's kind of a C shape that um, attaches on either side of the first one, and then the third snowball is the exact same thing as the second one you drew. It does not have to be perfect. You don't have to start out using pencil, but you can if you would like to, um, or you could do what I've done. Now your next step is to fill in your snowman in a circular pattern here. This keeps this thing looking round. If you were to use straight lines back and forth, it would flatten out your snowman, so make sure that you are using circular lines here. Next step is to add shadows to our snowman. So we are going to use the color blue. Shadows are typically not just the color black. They usually have another color mixed in or are entirely another color. So we're going to use the color blue to make this a realistic shadow. All right, next I have left a space for myself to draw a scarf on my snowman. You can do this as well if you would like to, but you don't have to. It's your snowman after all. I'm going to draw where I need to color first, and then I'm going to go back in with yellow and red. Now here I'm stopping to do um, some touch-ups on my snowman. I'm going back in and filling in more of the white space. I'm filling in more of the yellow, making that look a little bit bolder and more vibrant. The next thing that is going to make our snowman look three-dimensional is a highlight. Now we're going to use the color yellow first check to make sure that it doesn't have any other color on it. You are going to use the t-tiniest bit of yellow because otherwise it's going to look like yellow snow and we all know what that is. If you don't, come and see me later and I'll let you know. Now pay close attention to where I put in these highlights. I'm working in the top right which is opposite of the blue shadows, which are more towards the bottom and to the left. Um, you are doing kind of a line that follows the shape of the snowball. It curves around with it, just in a really small line. After you have those things done to your snowman, then you really have the freedom to do whatever else you would like to. Here I'm going to show you how to add on details like a nose, some eyes, and then even a hat. 